Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. Today I am going to be scrapbooking five photos and I am going to go ahead and kind of set them up in kind of like a grid. Now, I have already previously backed the photos, one in a mint cardstock, one in a yellow cardstock, or no, that's not true. Three in a mint and two in yellow. And then right there I was pointing out on top of that photo, I had spelled out 35 weeks with those Paige Evans tiny foam stickers from, or no, not from, they're called Happy Life. They're the ones that are white on one side and um, navy blue on the other. I'm also going to use these other thickers. These are also foam thickers, and I think they are from the Spooktacular. I had found those at Tuesday morning, and I had purchased um, several packs at one time. So here I'm going to go ahead and try to arrange the photos in kind of a way that I can fit the title on there as well. These are photos of Marissa, and she had already edited like four of them and put how many weeks pregnant she was and then that center one that I put it on there with puffy stickers or the foam stickers that's one that, that I had taken taken of her when we went out to eat and that was at 35 weeks so she hadn't edited it edited to edited it with the the weeks on there so I went ahead and put it on there with the alphas myself Okay, so I am going to go ahead and commit, commit to the placement of these right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and lay down the title. Now, my initial plan was I wanted to use a white background because I have these photos, and first of all, it was not easy to arrange these because some of the tummies are facing different directions. So I tried to make them all face inwards as best as I could, except for that 31 weeks, but it kind of faces part of that other photo so it almost like stops the belly from going off onto its own. I did also when I put down the um, title I wanted it all contained so I didn't want to go to the left of the photos and I didn't want to go to the right of the photos so I ended up having to put some of the letters on top of the photos. Part of the H in watch and the Y in mommy go on top of the photos. Now, even though initially I was thinking that I was just going to use the white background and maybe put some strips at the top and the bottom, I quickly changed my mind about that <laughs> and decided to go ahead and trim this white down. And then I'm going to pull out a piece of paper that is from Amy Tangerine, I believe. That rainbow paper, how cute is that, right? I I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I see a lot of people, well, not a, actually that's not even true. It's not even a lot of people. I see a handful of people that use busy patterned papers as their background and they do it so well. Me, not so much. Usually if I'm gonna use a busy patterned paper background, I'm gonna have my photos and you know, maybe a couple other things housed on top of the cardstock. And that's again what I went for in this instance. I did want to use the busy pattern paper, but I went ahead and just housed it on the white cardstock so it doesn't look quite as busy, in my opinion. Maybe it does. I don't know. So I am taking out several embellishments, and these are all from Amy Tan, I believe. The butterflies I took out, they were the clear stickers, and they kind of have a little bit of the shine on top, kind of a little bit of gold foiling. There is one acetate piece. Now with the clear stickers, I did put those on white cardstock and then trimmed around them and trimmed them out. Now, I have not been scrapbooking that long. Um, just a few years, I guess. And what I have just, and this is how long it took me to figure this out, what I just recently realized is I don't like clear stickers. I don't like clear stickers at all. So my goal is to use up all the clear stickers. <laughs> I'll probably end, them, end up tucking them under things. I keep trying them. I keep, I don't like the clear on the page directly. So I keep trying to back them with the white cardstock and cut them out. I still, even then, I just don't like the reflection you get off of them. I don't know. I don't know what it is about the clear sticker. They're just not my favorite. So it's going to be my goal to get them suckers used up every time I run across a pack that I already own and I'm not buying anymore. Unless maybe they're alphas because I don't know if I've ever, ever met an alpha I didn't love. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that one. I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and commit to this placement of this base. And then 
I mean, basically, that's it. I took the white cardstock and trimmed it down, put a couple butterflies on there. Then I'm going to kind of put it a little bit more toward the bottom than toward the top. It's not really centered at all. And hanging over of the white cardstock, I do have a couple butterflies that the wings extend out past. And then the top of that rainbow that says enjoy today, it does extend over the top of there as well. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and pop it up on some foam tape. Right like that. You can see those butterflies sitting over to the right. Those are the ones that um, I think they're the ones I fussy cut out. It looks like I'm using glue dots to put them down. And I'm just kind of trying to fill in. Like you can see where that 31, the bottom photo with 31 weeks, it does, it's not quite as big as the 35 weeks. So there's a bigger space in between the that photo and then the one to its right and to its left. So I did put some butterflies there, this one right here, and then the one over on the right, kind of just to fill up that space just a little bit. Probably if I would have thought this out better in advance, which I don't usually do, I need to work on that, maybe I would have printed them closer to the same size. I don't know. Right here I took out the Heidi Swap color shine in gold and I'm going to give that a splatter around the page. That usually signifies that I'm not going to do anything else to the layout. Let's see what happens. I did get some of the splatters on the photos. I do like that effect a lot. I like that a lot. So I did do that on purpose on a couple of the photos. All right, guys. Yep. After I do that, I don't do anything else to this layout. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.